a vital aspect to life in Earth. Humans, animals, and plants alike. With the invention of modern technology, the air quality in the world is worsening. However, this is not the only reason why air pollution exists. Air pollution can be easily seen more so in urban areas where there is a lot of human activities which involves burning of fossil fuels. And here in Santa Cruz, Manila, it's no different. Sa magulang nyo, anong ginagawa nila para hindi kayo mausukan? Magano, magbimpo. Magbibimpo kayo? Opo. Okay. Ikaw, anong ginagawa? Magbimpo. Magbibimpo din para di umugo. Opo. Okay. Sige. Santa Cruz is a district in Manila which consists of a crazy mix of both commercial and residential properties. One of the oldest streets in Manila, Escolta, can be found here. According to the latest data from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, the air quality in Metro Manila has worsened in terms of total suspended particles over the years. Records also show that 85% of Metro Manila's total air emissions come from vehicles. Um, anong masasabi mo tungkol sa... Ano, sa maduming usok na ginagawa na galing sa mga sasakyan? Servisyo. Air pollution. Ayun, kakapasok mo lang, agad ka na. Anong magandang nadudulo. So, anong ginagawa mo para man lang kahit pa paano, maiwasan mo yung air pollution na nanalala? Pasok na lang sa taas. Bakit ako sa taas, sa ano? Eh, paano kapag na, kapag nasa daan ka? Ako, para maiwasan. Oo. Kahit na lang ako ng ino. Iwa ko magdala. Kasi minsan dyan ang gagaling yan. Uh, personal na tanong, pero naranasan mo na bang mag-smoke? Ay, hindi po. Uh, um, kung may pagkakataon ka na kahit kakaunti, anong maaari mong magawa para mabawasan man lang kahit pa paano yung maduming gusto? Walis. Maglinis. Ganun. Tapos, uh, Ano ko lang, advice ko lang sa government, sana pa nila yung mga estero, yung mga ilog natin. Sige, salamat! But to be more specific, what is really air pollution and what causes it? Air pollution is a presence of harmful particles, biological molecules, and any other poisonous materials in Earth's atmosphere. Anong masasabi mo tungkol sa mga maruruming usok na na nanggagaling sa mga sasakyan? Mga ano po? Magiging pollution. Uh, eh, eh, ano naman ginagawa mo kapag, siyempre, araw-araw ka nga nagko-commute? Um, para lang kahit pa paano maiwasan mo yung, malanghap mo yung maruming usok, anong ginagawa mo? Iiwas na lang po sa mga usok na lugar kung may tatakip ng ilok. Uh, kung may magagawa ka para maiwasan tong air pollution, Kahit kakaunti, o may gusto kong iparating sa gobyerno, anong gusto mong iparating? Buwasan anong... yung mga sakyang mausok. Magpalit ng mga ano. Mga yun sa araw gumagana. Kasi nakaka-asma siya, nahirap po uh, Para po maiwasan yung maruming usok na yun, ano pong ginagawa nyo? Kahit para man lang po mapuna na hindi nyo po maamoy po yung mga usok na... Sa kasi minsan dito, minsan mas lang. Kalimutan kasi naman sa atin dito sa area namin. Hindi naman sa ganun yung polluted na ano na sa sakyan. Kalimutan naman kasi na re-resolve pa rin ang sakyan. Kung may, kung may nais po kayong iparating sa gobyerno o nais po kayong ipabago para lang po masolusyon ng itong air pollution na to, ano pong sasabihin nyo sa kanila? Siguro mas maganda yung ano, uh, regular na check-up ng mga makina ng sasakyan. Kasi siya yung minsan matagal na maintain lang yung pagbuga ng usok pag wala na nakakatingin. Ibinubuga nila bigla. Sana para maiwasan. 
Clean air is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and traces of other gases like carbon dioxide. But with the discharges of pollutants like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sulfur, and nitrogen oxides, our atmosphere is at risk. These pollutants mainly come from industries and manufacturing activities, vehicles which burn fossil fuels, household and farming chemicals, but natural resources like volcanic activity can also contribute to air pollution. Um, siyempre po na, nakakapagdulot sila ng maruming hangin. Um, ano naman pong ginagawa nyo para po hindi nyo po malanghap yun o maiwasan man po kahit pa paano? Oo, oh, siyempre takpan mo ilong mo. Takpan ko yung paninda po. By the year 2050, air pollution is set to become the biggest environmental cause of premature death overtaking even such mass killers as poor sanitation and the lack of clean drinking water. Breathing has indeed become risky. But we can do something. Stop smoking. Smoking worldwide releases about 2.6 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide in the air every year. Smoking also releases about 5.2 billion kilograms of methane every year. Exposure to secondhand smoke causes nearly 50,000 deaths each year in the US alone. Do not burn your trash. More than 40% of the world's garbage is burned in open piles contributing more emissions than is shown in regional and global inventories. Burning your garbage forms a cancerous chemical compound named dioxin, which is considered one of the most hazardous to breathe. The 2 to 40 household burn barrels emit many of the most dangerous toxins at the same level as emitted from a 200 ton per day incinerator facility that serves 20,000 households. Drive less. In cities where there is huge traffic and vehicles run bumper to bumper, the pollutants in the air can seep into your car, making the air you breathe inside your car up to 10 times more polluted than typical city air. That is 20% of the world's total, according to the Environmental Defense Fund. Use public transportation. A single bus carries passengers which are likely to drive 40 cars. Each year, public transportation saves 1.5 billion gallons in OTA fuel consumption. Use bikes and e-vehicles. Cars produce 0.97 pounds of pollution per mile annually. Bikes produce none. Bikes are also up to 50% faster than cars during rush hour. Bikes take far fewer natural resources to make than cars, the production of which generates 1.2 billion yards of pollution each year. Electric vehicles are a highly efficient mode of transportation. Up to 80% of the energy in the battery is transferred directly to power the car, compared with only 14 to 26% of the energy from gasoline-powered vehicles. Electric vehicles could prevent more than 8 million metric tons of climate-changing carbon pollution annually by 2025. That is the equivalent of saving more than 2 billion gallons of gasoline per year or eliminating tailpipe pollution from 3.8 million of today's cars and trucks. Plant more trees. Newly planted or regenerating forests can absorb carbon for 20 to 50 years or more. Through the natural process of photosynthesis, trees absorb carbon dioxide and other pollutant particulates, then store the carbon and emit pure oxygen. Eliminating pollution is not just for Earth's sake. Saving the air we breathe is saving our lives. <laughs>